Good morning. This morning's Mass is being offered for all the special intentions of the Busanel family. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us pause for a moment, reflect on our faults and on our failings, and offer them to the Lord for his healing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sinfulness, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast down into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, Abnego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace, and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. The response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exultant above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son does. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. And they answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. And Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to them, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. And Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Do you remember the very first line in this Gospel? Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him. Is this a conversation of people who believe? What a contrast to the first reading, where you have these three young boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who, in the face of complete danger, can you imagine being threatened to be thrown into a furnace? And they will not. They are the believers. They, they willingly get thrown in there because they believe in God and they will not say that they don't. So it comes down to what do you and I believe? Do we believe that Jesus came from God and that he is telling us what God wants us to do? We can tell by what we say and do today and all the days of our life. As water is lost in wine, might we become lost in you, O Lord our God. And blessed are you, O Lord our God. It is to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, O Lord our God. 
It is through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, let it become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, we ask you to accept the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and with contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquities, cleanse us from our sins. Pray that this sacrifice we offer be pleasing and acceptable to our God. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which have been given to be offered to the honor of your name. And grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other silent peace. Peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May this sharing in the body and blood of Christ help us to love one another.
let us pray. <clears throat> May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve our God. Our prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us also show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. If you don't have a copy of this prayer, there's one on those prayer cards right there with St. Joseph. Have a fabulous day. <laughs>